So what do you say? I, man, I, I got stuff to do. I, I understand. But think about this as a community event, not as a, I mean, I, hey, I, I know I that go. he's going to be there, right? Hey, mind if I borrow a minute or two of your time? Um, no, not right now. I, uh... Hey, listen, it'll only take a second, okay? Uh, I'm actually from a new church that just opened in town, and we're having a food drive on Saturday, and we were wondering if you'd be interested. Yeah, I'm, uh, not really a religious person, so I don't think I'd be into this. Oh, um, okay, I, listen, I completely understand, uh, your skepticism. I uh, see, I've been where you are right now with, uh, all this, yeah, skepticism about faith and religion religion and um not not today maybe maybe some other time um okay cool i will i'll hold you to it Is that arson? Oh, you haven't responded to any of my texts. How have you been? What have you been up to? Just school, you know, I mean, it's been tough keeping up with everybody with so much going on. Mm -hmm. So much going on, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, how, how have you been? You know, I haven't heard from you. I've been keeping you in my thoughts. Oh, well, I mean, same old, same old. Taking it one day at a time. It's been better though. Arson, when was the last time that you've like gone outside or you know hung out with someone or talked to someone or you know made eye contact with someone or more recent than you think. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well. You know, my offer still stands. I still have enough for the both of us if you want to give it a shot tonight, hmm? You know what, Gabriel? Fuck it, why not? All right. Um, is your place all right? Yeah. Okay. I cleaned it up recently, so you know. Okay, that's good, because I don't, I don't have any crust at my place. Do you like crust? Depends on what kind of sandwich it is, but yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll try to remember that. I, um, I, um, I saw Cocaine Bear recently. Um, that was, was pretty enlightening. Good movie. movie. Is it a good movie? Yeah. Okay. I can I, say I haven't it. seen it yet, so. Mm, I, I relate to it. <laughs> I'll keep you in mind when I go watch it. 
That's good. I've been looking forward to this. You know, I was hoping you would come around. I've been, you know, holding on to these for like forever. You know, anyways, I think that this will do you some good. Oh yeah? Why's that? Well, you know, not to overstep on your boundaries. It's just that, you know, I know these past few weeks have been really rough on you and I just, I just think that this will help you open up, you know? Maybe. It's not like I haven't at all, though. Uh, you know, that's not what I mean. It's just that, like, you know, as people, we have this tendency to, like, to put up these, um, these barriers, these walls, you know? And these walls, you know, we use them in order to protect ourselves from these, these feelings. And those feelings, they could hurt us, but, you know, put it like this. You, you know how, like, like, Pigs, they don't do that. Pig, like, they don't do the whole barrier thing. I heard this story a while ago about this pig. Well, well there were two pigs. Uh, they were brother and sister. And, uh, well, the, the farmer ate the sister, and the brother pig got really sad about that. Like, like really sad. And then the farmer sold that pig um, to this other farm, and you would think that, like, once he's in this new place in his life, that eventually he would get over it. But, you know, he didn't. And he, he just never got over his sister's death. But, you know, I, I think that there's, like, a little beauty to that. Because, you know, that means that the pig always felt. You know, that pig didn't have the barriers. The pig was whole. And... And I just think that that would help. So, uh, bon appetit. Um, I left the crust on because I couldn't remember if you like crust or not. But, you know, you can peel it off if you don't like it. I, I would understand. So, um, anyways, uh, yeah, have a good trip. Come in, Arson. You're going to miss the movie. What's this? It's an experimental film that just came out. It's just B-roll played over and over again. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were going for when they made this. Yeah. How have you been, Arson? What? With everything. When I last saw you, you looked... well... Uh... It's okay. You don't have to tell me. I could just tell you were getting upset when I mentioned the church. I hope I didn't offend you. No, it's, it's not that. It's just... I just didn't need sales pitch for a Bible study. Well, no sales pitch for me. But if you don't mind me asking, why did you react that way? I, uh... I have a complicated history with all of that, and... Recently, I don't know really how I feel about God, you know, religion, faith. I just, I get so angry when I just think about it. I see. Uh, sometimes it's confusing on what to make of it all. There's so much inter interference between our individual selves and God or whatever kind of label you want to give it. it doesn't really matter. It's not even that. It's just not, none of it makes any sense. I mean, if we're experiencing this right now then god has to be somewhere else like he's he's got to be some old fuck in the clouds 
I doubt whatever god you were raised to worship is really an old fuck in the clouds. There's no logic to God. We can never understand it. It's just completely within us, but also completely separate. That's so vague, though. I mean, how can we be separated from something but also be a part of it? I mean, isn't the fundamental idea behind Christianity to worship something greater than ourselves? Forget fundamentals for a second. Take a look at religions from across the globe. They're all there for the same purpose, to help us reach a higher consciousness. Everything that we are is connected to plants, to animals, to stars. These fundamentals you talk about, it's just noise. Spirituality is so often lost in translation. The truth of it is, we're all just the universe reminding itself that it exists. We get to choose to be a part of it or not. So we're an extension of God and we still worship him as this higher being that's above us tiny people. I'm not saying you have to worship anything. Just allow yourself to be a part of a greater existence. If you attach yourself to impermanent things, that's all you'll ever amount to. Except that everything, everyone in your life has a limited time in this world. And they're meant to serve a purpose in this universe, just as you are. That's a lot, but uh, thanks for sparing me the sales pitch. Anytime, Arson. Also, this movie fucking sucks. I hate experimental movies. Right? They're always so pretentious.